What do a neutron star and a figure skater have in common? At the end of a massive star's life, it'll rapidly compress, forming a neutron star, spinning faster and faster as it does so, with its surface eventually reaching up to a third the speed of light. Likewise, when a figure skater begins a spin, they might pull their arms in, increasing their rotational speed. In both cases, this occurs for a simple reason. Angular momentum is conserved. Angular momentum is a lot like regular or translational momentum. It quantifies how much force is required to stop an object's motion. As the name suggests, angular momentum refers to rotational rather than positional motion. And just like translational momentum, angular momentum is conserved. And that means that in order to change the angular momentum of a system, an external force needs to be applied. So then what gives? How do neutron stars and figure skaters speed up without any external influence? The secret is that their angular momentum isn't changing at all. Let me explain. Translational momentum is related to both inertia, i.e. mass, and how fast a thing is moving. It's harder to stop a freight train at 10 miles per hour than it is to stop a baseball at the same speed, and it's twice as hard still to stop a freight train at 20 miles per hour. And the mass of an object in a closed system is fixed, so the only way to change the speed of an object in a closed system is to decrease or increase its momentum. Angular momentum is similar, it's also related to inertia and speed, but it's a different kind of inertia. While the inertia for translational momentum is just mass, which is essentially unchanging, rotational inertia is more complicated. Consider a rod with a heavy weight on the end. Is it harder to spin about an axis that is closer to the weight or further? To most people, the answer is intuitive. It's easier to spin the closer you are to the weight. And that's because rotational inertia depends not only on total mass, but also on where that mass is situated relative to the axis of rotation. The closer the mass, the smaller the rotational inertia. So if the angular momentum is just the rotational inertia times the speed of rotation, then a system can speed up so long as its rotational inertia decreases accordingly. And that's exactly what neutron stars and figure skaters do. Because they pull their mass closer to the axis of rotation, thereby decreasing rotational inertia, their speed must increase so that angular momentum is conserved. And that's how you end up with both gold medals and pulsars.